Welcome back. There's a shakeup this award season that may make viewers happy. It's time to kick off our trending stories. Here's a look at our hot topics brought to you by Tina at Walton Arts Center. Okay, well, word on the street is Academy Awards enthusiasts won't have to stay up quite late to hear the best picture winner in March, and that's because the 96 Oscars will begin one hour early okay. with the official show starting at 6 p.m. Central, the official pre-show, that's going to begin at 5.30. Those are both Central times. So then 6 p.m., so then 7 p.m. Central uh, Eastern time. Right. Now, despite various experiments to keep the runtime to three hours, the broadcast has sometimes stretched into the 11 o'clock hour. Don't I know it? That Oscar Sunday is always rough the next day. Most of the time it's worth it, though. Jimmy Kimmel is returning to host the show for the fourth time. The Academy Awards will air on March the 10th. Nominations are going to be announced next month on January the 23rd. So I like this change here because, listen, you don't need a bunch of pre-show. Look who's here. We're going to see them inside anyway. Get to the awards. They're also adding more awards to the show as well, which is a lot of times why it is stretching into that three-hour mark. Also, you got some important people in the rafters. They have to get to the stage. Yeah, that, <laughs> that takes, takes a like, while. That takes five minutes, yeah. and then they got to talk for however long. So I do like this format. Let's see how long that uh, the awards, what time they end this year. Yes. Year. Yeah, absolutely. I love this change. Yeah, make it more accessible, so maybe we'll stick around to the end. That's the hope Absolutely, anyway. yeah, because you want people to enjoy the entire awards. Right. And if it's getting too late, people are starting to, you know, to check out at a certain point. I so know. starting at 6, I love that. Yes, I do too. Well, here's a question for you. Are you experiencing a runny nose this season? A little bit. Could be you. And it could be a cold, <laughs> but it could also be because of your Christmas tree. Oh. So physicians say you may have what's called Christmas tree syndrome, allergies caused by your Christmas tree and decorations. Typical cold symptoms as well as congestion or, and asthma flare-ups may come about because of mold spores, pollen, or other allergens on the tree. On top of that, musty decorations taken out of an attic could also cause respiratory problems. So experts recommend a couple things. They recommend consumers with Christmas tree allergies consider getting an artificial Christmas tree, mm. and then all consumers should wipe down their decorations to minimize reaction problems. Yeah, that's a great tip, actually, because to their point, even though, you know, like for us, we st store ours kind of like in a bin. Right. Things do get in there. That's and right. Stuff like that, so it is kind of good to yes. kind of dust those things off, too. Fight out those allergies. You got it. Yeah. Um, I love this story right here. The Rolling Stones release <laughs> Need Diamonds. Yeah. It's uh, their first album of original material in 18 years. They're also going on tour, so they're taking that act on the road. Well, apparently fans are so excited about it, so much that they crashed a ticket website this week. AARP is an official sponsor for the tour, and members overloaded the website <laughs> as tickets. Yes. <laughs> as they tried to get access to exclusive pre-sale tickets, AARP. They blamed the dilemma on a glitch and had the site back up uh, by the afternoon. So fans did, uh, were able to get their tickets. And there is still time to get your tickets if you hadn't already. The Hackney Diamonds Tour kicks off April 28th in Houston. Yeah, hey, I'm excited for them. You know, they've been making music for so long, nobody's got the moves like Jagger, as you see right there. So, <laughs> yes, go check them out while they're on tour. Yeah. This story right here, okay, so... so <laughs> <laughs> Bulldoze right through right there. Let's just start there. Some animals at a London zoo help start the tourist attractions countdown to Christmas. You're seeing tigers, meerkats, and squirrel monkeys. Oh they gosh. played with various advent calendars with the tigers obviously opening the boxes, <laughs> the monkeys examining Christmas stockings for treats, and the meerkats rifled through a wooden Christmas tree with tiny boxes filled with food. You know what, they all failed to observe that festive tradition of opening a single door per day, instead opting for right. just a full-on dem demolition of these treat containers. You know what, I don't blame them. <laughs> don't surprise me. I want all my gifts right now. <laughs> That's right. I don't need to wait day per day. What if I forget a day? Or, you know, the weekends? What if I'm not there hey, That's the when you get to double so, up. You know, forget. So, listen, <laughs> let me just get all the presents right now. I want to enjoy everything right now. <laughs> Look at 